figure you out. And I told a lot of people when it comes to relationships, I also have a slot machine um, analogy. I don't want people to say anything they heard. So, the slot machine. Because what happens a lot of times in relationships is you get a slot machine. Every quarter is a year. You put the quarter in, you put the quarter in, now these years are going by, and you don't want to go up to the chair because you want to hit jackpot. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go. So you're like, you don't want somebody to come and hit jackpot. Like, oh, I thought was working. I put in this person hit jackpot? Mm -hmm. Nah, so what happens a lot of times when we do it, even when we not have the relationship, I put three years in this. I got two kids with this dude. I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to get my payout. And that's what happens with us. So when somebody changes and not happy, instead of breaking up with them, we stay because we have years. Like you said, we have two years, got engaged. And you show the signs. Once you show the signs, you have every break, like, yeah, I'm good on this. And you left. And now you said, now you're dating, but do you want to get married uh, again? Or are you kind of over it right now? Um... I'm, I'm, I'm at odds. I'm at odds with a lot. So I am at odds with getting married. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm at a pinnacle between marriage and just finding someone who I'm absolutely in love with and being content with being with them, just mm -hmm. under the fact that we love each other and we're comfortable with that for the rest of our lives. If I can find somebody who just wants to love me and be with forever, mm -hmm. minus the marriage, I'm perfectly okay with that. If I can find somebody else who's more on the God fearing side and wants to solidify marriage, I'm, I'm with that. Alright, so you have you can go either way. Mm -hmm. But some people have specific ones that they want in the box, but you gotta be honest. But you say you're down with whichever. So like I said before about living your truth. And more people live their truth, a lot of headache will be not here. But a lot of people want to sell the dream or they want to be caught up in the, the longevity of a relationship and not what's actually going on in their face. I think a lot of times is most women um, when we get into a relationship, we see the potential in a man mm -hmm. before he sees the potential in himself. Mm -hmm. So right now, I called it, I, no, I called it build a bear, yeah, yeah. called build a bear syndrome. Build those bear. are the ones, yeah. those are the ones that seem to be attracted to me, the ones that I can build up mm -hmm. and get to that pinnacle point of their life, because I don't want that anymore. But I'm just saying, for us, that's where that imbalance comes from. It's like, when we're in that relationship, we're like, yo, I know you could be the best man you could be. It's coming. And I'm not gonna let you leave and give it to another chick nah, because I'm too chill. So that's that's where we. This is where this um, fighting comes in between. That we're like, no, I'm not gonna let you go. But then everyone is telling you, let him go. And that's why we always in this constant like we'll stay two years, three years, six years, eight years, ten years, waiting for that day to be like, ting, okay, she's the one. But you aren't. So sometimes you have to let go, you have to learn to let go quicker than later, you know, earlier than later. Yeah, because at the end of the day, when it comes to that, it's time. You don't have time, especially for women that want to have kids and want to get married. They on this top, they clock. So they're like, oh, wait okay, for two years again, they go back to dating. I hate dating. Yeah. <laughs> so right, I'm gonna stay with them for one more year. <laughs> 